In this video, we're going to talk about Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis in the upcoming boxing match that they're going to have. Now, Dylan Dennis has been attacking Logan Paul's fiance on social media for having a very promiscuous past. My real question to you guys is, does body count matter? As I can see it on social media, and I heard a lot of content creators which are female, which are saying it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how many guys which you sleep with. I think it does. And in this video, we're gonna talk about that. The Logan v. Dana situation is just a parody of the modern internet and our modern culture, showing the science of where our future culture is headed. Now, Logan Paul has always been known for stirring up drama and controversy. But this time, he met his match in Dylan Dennis. In the run-up to the fight in October, the two have been trading insults and jabs online, which is really nothing new in the world of boxing. But after Dennis exposed Logan Paul's fiancée and posted a whole album of pictures of her with other men, this whole drama reached a new low. I would never usually talk about a situation like this, but the unbearable need for clout and attention for the survival of these people is a symptom of something much greater in our society. Now, Dennis has been shown he's got no problems dragging Logan Paul's family or exploiting the controversy for his own success, and it's not like Logan Paul is the most sympathetic character here. But it begs the question, how far is too far? With the Island Boys engaging in incest and setting up an OnlyFans, and with influencers becoming more and more desperate to do anything they can for clout, it makes you wonder, where is our society headed? On August 9th, Dylan Dennis posted a picture of Logan Paul's fiance, Nina Agga, with Leonardo DiCaprio. Nina and DiCaprio dated back in 2016, and their relationship was fairly public. I'm not gonna lie. Having your girl date Leonardo, used to dating D Leonardo DiCaprio, is that a W or L chat? I got mixed feelings about this one. If I'm getting Leo's, like, like, bro, I'm gonna just keep it a little butt, like, bro, if Leo dated my girl, that just means I got good taste, like. I mean, if you're putting yourself in the same conversation as Leonardo DiCaprio when it comes to rising up women, then of course it's a W, but if your girl has the past, she's been passed around, Leo has even, even Leo has been there, then it has to be an L for your girl, and one W and one L, that's, that's two L's. I, I, I can't say this one's an L, chat. I can't say this one's an L. Then again though, this isn't prime Leo, you feel me? What up, LeBron? Okay, okay, Chippendales. Ja! Where's Ja? <laughs> what up, Jamie? Hold up, is that Tristan Tate? Okay, looks like him. It's not him. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. 2019, this is... No, that's not my man, Paulie Shore. No, that's not Biodome himself. What up, Paulie? Still living the good life, I see. I talked about this on Twitter, mm -hmm. that, um, that Logan just needs to leave this girl. He needs to call off the wedding, call off the engagement, and just and the, and the problem is he's not going to do it because now he's in the middle of a fight. Yeah, he's 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 with the girl. His She's ego. the object of most of of most of the jokes. So if he leaves her, it's going to be looked at as like, oh, you're weak. You didn't stand by your girl. I mean, I would understand it was four or five guys. You know, I've been with Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's a superstar, and I've been with Jamie Fox and Jai Rule. Okay, those are three celebrities. It's not such a big thing. We can get over it. Like these guys, I've seen them before. I, I get the allure. But we're looking at over maybe three or 400 pictures of men. And she's doing questionable things in those pictures. And some of the pictures, she's just in her thong. But the reality is he never should have been with her in the first place because she's not worth standing with. I'm telling you, his ego, bro, is going to hold him back from doing it. Because I'll be honest, bro, it looks kind of like a L you doing it, but in the long run, it's going to save you heartache and time and money. I think you would get more respect for leaving her. Mm. Personally. I, I genuinely believe what? that if he left her, yeah, he's the, the, the mainstream media is going to be like, oh my God, he's, he's so toxic. This is insecure behavior, blah, blah, blah. But he'll get, he, he will get a silent majority of people that'll be like, good. If we're just looking at odds here, your odds are not that high if she has done all of that and she's with you. Uh, so if I was a betting man, I would not put my bets on that she would be loyal. If I'm looking to hire a person and I'm looking at their CV and they've been to so many jobs, I'm talking about like, we're talking about, we're talking about a thousand jobs. Would I be like, yeah, I want to hire this person. Just, yeah, this person seems like, no, it's like, well, you've been in a lot of relationships. What is the probability that you're going to leave this relationship or you're going to leave this office to go to something else? Because this is something that you have 
been doing all of the time. Yeah, this is not a good look. Okay, always run the whole facts, gentlemen. Always look at their digital footprint. All right? It's like the most random people, like Jamie Foxx. He, Jamie Foxx was just in the hospital right now. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Sheesh. This chick makes Lori Harvey look like a goddamn saint. And if that's not bad enough as it is, guys, put your RP hats on because <laughs> it's going to get a lot worse. Did you guys hook up the first night? Yes. It was not an entire hookup. Right? She wouldn't have for me. Didn't stop her from being the Nordic vortex. That <laughs> but no, no, listen, listen, okay, listen, listen, listen. Oh my God. I'm so, uh, Logan, what you and your future wife did not do on the first night, she did with the entire cast of Hollywood. But you know what? You know this would be the equivalent of? I'm sure he's not dumb. Let's say you found this girl, right? You fucking love her. You fell in love with her, right? Right. You guys date, you propose, you get married. Her high school 20 year reunion comes up. You're so excited, baby. Oh, man, I can't wait to meet all your friends. You walk in there. Honestly, oh, Stacy. I don't think I'm going oh, to Oh, dirty dick Stacy. And all these niggas. Dirty it's just dick Stacy. Oh, look at It's like, dirty oh, remember Stacey. the locker room? Dirty dick Stacy. And like, crazy you're like, crazy. wait, wait, what's going on, baby? What's going on? I'm hearing all this. Wait, what? 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 Dirty dick Stacy. And then one of the dudes pulls you aside and is like, oh, you copping that too? No, like, this is my wife, man. You're like, your wife? You know what we used to do to her back in high school? Shit. This is Modern Woman Playbook 101. Step one, go through the whole phase and gather a hundred plus bodies. Step two, regret it or hit the wall and try to find a good man. Step three, try to act like you are a good woman. Step four, get married to the sucker or repeat steps one, two, and three once you get found out. I, no, I don't think I've ever like gone that but that's also because I don't sleep with everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't yeah. know. I've never, I've never directly been like, you slut, that's why you slept with blah, blah, blah. And I've also never received the you slut, that's why you blah, blah, blah. Do I think it's unfair that his girl got dragged into it? Yeah, I will agree. I do think it's unfair that his girl got dragged into it. But can you really get mad at someone for bringing up your past? When women choose you for relationships, that's when they act like they are of marriageable material. Meanwhile, she saves the cookie for the one that she wants, the one that she knows will be a provider for her. Meanwhile, she got her back rearranged by the ones that she lusts. Closing arguments, does body count matter? Of course it does. I wish it wasn't like this. I wish we did not have these double standards, but that's just how our society functions. Ice Spice can make a music video where she has a 14 year old girl twerking and no one says anything about that. And men can sleep with how many women they like and no one says anything about that. That's just the way of the world. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave the question to you guys. What do you guys think? Does body count matter? Would you sleep with the village bicycle? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.